about that time for us to get off. So cut the rattle, you'll get set in your saddle. Mount your horse, the countdown begun. The group be chill surprise. You don't see none all of a sudden. The curtain rise. What's up, YouTube, and welcome to episode two of Making Gil in a Realm Reborn. Uh, this week, I am coming from Limsa Luminsa. We're at a different market board. Uh, but from all the market boards, you can search, you know, you can search all items that are listed from any auction house, so it doesn't really matter. But I thought I'd give you a change of scenery for this episode. So, we're one week away from last week's episode, and I've been uh, gathering and concentrating on my goldsmithing. And it's time for some results now, so if I can just find the bell, summoning bell, here we go. We will have a look and we will see how we've done. All the items that I've been selling, I've left the gold with the retainer and I haven't taken it out. So, uh, we've had Tweddle was selling uh, crafted goldsmith gear and Dizzy was selling uh, materials that I'd gathered. Now, the results are a little bit skewed this week because, uh, well, for a start, some of the stuff I was gathering I was actually using to craft my goldsmithing. So, uh, you know, I wasn't making, uh, I wasn't goldsmithing purely from the auction house I was actually you know using some of my gathering so the gathering gold is going to be a little bit less than what it could have been uh, and my goldsmithing gold will be probably a little bit more than it should have been because I, I wasn't paying for materials out of it so anyway we will start with gathering this week let's click on Dizzy and let's have a look at the amount of money she pulled in okay 97,251 gil. That's not too bad. Uh, but to be honest with you, uh, halfway through the week, uh, I realized it was just so much easier making goldsmithing. Also, you know, I wanted to work on my uh, my main class, my Disciple of Magic class towards Black Mage. Uh, I didn't want to fall. I know I said I'm only going to play for fun, but I didn't want to fall behind too much because my guild are actually every time I'm looking now they're constantly running uh, you know Titan hard modes, Ifrit hard modes, you know Chimera and everything like that and uh, we've got 2.1 coming out in around about a month or so and I didn't want to be too far behind I wanted to still uh, you know I wanted to get my gear crafted and everything and my relic gear ready for 2.1 because I have a feeling that uh, there's not going to be too much catch up with this game so you know if you miss out on it you're going to struggle to really find groups already I'm seeing a lot of people uh, hanging out in LFG just looking you know and, and spamming for ages before they finally find a group but anyway back to the to the guild making uh, I made 97k from gathering which is not too shabby really uh, most most uh, successful things I've, I've found this week or well, if you're only trying to make gill you know if you're not concentrating on leveling uh, your black uh, your mining then you should probably uh, you should probably concentrate on gathering in the shards because uh, goldsmiths and I'm pretty sure every other uh, gathering every other crafting class needs these shards to make their product so you know there's a really high demand for them and they sell they're not too bad a price we'll just have a look uh, then they're, they're not badly priced they sell quite well and there's always a demand for them see we've got here like 500 for 12k there uh, I've included some locations in the data blast this week uh, which we'll come to later and I'll explain what that is um, where you can gather them and quite often you'll get a yield plus one proc and you're gathering two you know two per per attempt so you know you can gather uh, you can gather a hundred of these in maybe five or ten minutes. So it's not too bad at all. It's uh, quite pro it's very profitable and very quick as well. Um, so that was gathering as well. Uh, I'm going to quickly run through some of the places where we f where I found if you're leveling your mining and you know you want to be leveling stuff that's going to give you experience because once you get too far ahead in levels the wind shards give you about 12 experience and you would literally be mining for months before you level capped so if you want to concentrate on stuff that is going to give you a decent xp while at the same time selling well on the auction house you can look at the iron ore um, the iron ore I believe is somewhere in where are we somewhere in Thanalan uh, where are we? No, it's not central. It might be eastern. No, it's not 
Eastern. I'm guessing it's got to be Western then. Yeah, you can find it at Iron Ore around the Copper Bell Mines instance. It's all around this little area here. It sells quite well. I mean, it's not my best seller gathering this week, but it does sell well. I didn't struggle to clear any of it. It was gone within a day. Um, also, you can get the Alumin. Alumin? I think it's Alumin. Alumin. It's a leather working reagent and this is just honestly the best selling item from gathering that I found this week. Um, I was struggling just to keep up with the demand. I was literally going out, I was farming three or four hundred of these while I was uh, leveling and putting them on the auction house, going back, gathering some more and within the hour, you know, I'd sold three, four hundred of these and they were selling really well. I was selling at one point stacks of 20 for 2k per stack and um you know like i said it was just it was just flying off the market you know i couldn't keep up with it uh also the silver ore which i'm not exactly sure i can't remember off the top of my head where it was it's around here somewhere yeah south shroud just around this area here the upper paths down to down to the chocobo keep uh, you know, that also sells quite well, uh, not as good as Alumin, but not too shabby, better than the Iron Ore, uh, so definitely worth checking out. It's also going to give you experience as you are leveling your mining. So, those are the three ones to look at, mainly while you are leveling up to level 30. Uh, on to now the crafting side of this week i had an amazing week with crafting i was only selling the i think level 20 to 25 recipes maybe a couple of 25 to 30 goldsmithing recipes uh, like i said i sold them on my other retainer so we could keep the gill amount separate um and i had a, quite an amazing week i had 257 974 gill which is not bad at all uh, the great thing with the uh, the crafting with the with the goldsmithing was I I simply crafted it and you know like I said I was leveling my uh, my main class and I just I, I made the items stuck them on the on the market board uh, went out and did my leveling my questing you know grinded some fates ran some dungeons and they were just selling and then you know when I came back listed the ones relisted the one created and relisted the ones that I'd sold. Uh, I went back out, did what I was doing, let them sell, and you know I was able to just carry on playing the game uh, while at the same time making a, a decent amount of gold. Um, so there we have it, gold. And my total gold now: 373,159 gil uh, after week one, which I, I think is not too bad. Obviously, if I uh, if I was dedicating to full-on gold uh, gil making. I would expect to make more than that, but uh, like I said, I was still playing the game and I'm enjoying the game and I'm leveling my class. Uh, just a little bit more on the goldsmithing, we'll bring up my crafting log and I'll go through some of the recipes that I was actually selling. Uh, it was, oh I'll take it back, it was the 26, level 26 to 20, 30 range and a lot of this, this is all gear, you know, there's no, uh, you're not creating any bars or anything like that. The materials are really cheap. Uh, the only thing that's probably you're gonna you're gonna struggle for finding is the wind shards at a decent price because you do burn a lot of wind shards making these. Fire shards as well, but uh, mainly the wind shards. You know, everything here costs uh, gold. Uh, these ones cost wind shards and fire shards, but also you're gonna have to craft the silver ingots to make the uh, to, to to use in most of those 26 to 30 recipes, and they take wind shards only so you will struggle to keep up with wind shards but uh, you can buy them off the auction house there's a lot more people farming them now uh, they are quite expensive but you know it saves you doing it or if you don't have a gathering class you know you don't have to go out and do it yourself if you just want to make a uh, gill from sitting at the market board or you know crafting and then questing then uh, you can make a decent amount of money so um, this week's top sellers, if I just look, I've, I've tracked my sales, I've kept it on a list and a spreadsheet and I'll just quickly look at it while I'm, while I'm talking to you guys and I'll pull out a few of the best sellers. Uh, Silver Ring of Crafting was a really good seller, 19 sales this week. Uh, Sunstone Ring, Sunstone Ring 20 sales this week. Dan Burite Earrings, 20 sales. Silver Choker, 
19 cells, but this silver choker, which is actually a level 31 to 35 recipe, um, these were selling, you know, 3k to 5k. So when you do sell them, you're selling a lot of them, and also you're selling them for a higher price. Um, full details I'll include in the data blast, uh, which actually brings me on to the data blast. I want to uh, just explain the data blast. I don't know if you guys have seen one before. When I was a kid, sort of growing up in the 90s, there was a program I used to watch on TV. It was one of the first video game shows. Uh, I think it was called Bad Influence. And I'll always remember it because, you know, back then we were using video players and they'd do this thing at the end called a data blast. And basically, uh, you would have your video ready, you know, you'd, you'd be sitting there at the TV ready to record it. And during the credits, they'd run this thing called a data blast and basically they sort of spammed you with lots of one second screens full of information and the idea was that you could record it with your video and, and then just play it back in slow motion or pause it and you know you had pages and pages of uh, of this information to read with game cheats and stuff like that so I thought you know it'd be a really cool idea to just do this little data blast thing because there's only so much I could explain uh, and with a data blast I can include some cool stuff like some maps uh, you know some shots of my spreadsheets and some graphs and stuff like that you know just some some a, a cool way to, to give you guys a little bit of extra information also you know if you can't be bothered to listen to me rabbit on and you know just talk a lot um, you know I'll just include a little link in the annotations and you can just click it on my weekly videos and go straight to the data blast you know something for the ADHD and generation there so there we go week two uh, Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Gave you some guys some, some things to look at. Next week I'm going to look on some uh, higher level crafting recipes. And also I'm going to pick up the slack on my mining again. I'm going to be looking at uh, moving on to some mithril and stuff like that. Going to use some of that mithril in the higher level recipes. And we'll see what sells. Hopefully we'll make some more gold. Please comment, rate and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode. Begun. The groove be chill surprise. You don't see nothing.